Because wisdom is innate, we can all enlighten ourselves. Look within. The secret is inside you. Within our impure mind, the pure is to be found. By amending our mistakes, we get wisdom. By defending our faults, we betray an unsound mind. To be bigoted and argue with others is to subject one's essence of mind to the bitterness of mundane existence. The meaning of life is to see. A finger points at the moon, but the moon is not at the tip of the finger. Words point at the truth, but the truth is not in words. The truth is to be lived, not just mouthed. Confused by thoughts, we experience duality in life. Unencumbered by ideas, the enlightened see the one reality. Before you think good or evil, who are you? As one lamp serves to dispel a thousand years of darkness, so one flash of wisdom destroys ten thousand years of ignorance. The complete teachings of all Buddhas, past, present, and future, are to be found within the essence of every human being. Our essence of mind is intrinsically pure, and if we knew our mind and realized what our nature is, all of us would attain Buddhahood. Sit all together in meditation. Become peacefully calm and quiet, without motion, without stillness, without birth, without destruction, without coming or going, with no judgments of right or wrong, neither staying nor going. This, then, is the great way. When our mind works freely without any hindrance and is at liberty to come or to go, we attain liberation. Such a state is called the function of thoughtlessness. But to refrain from thinking of anything so that all thoughts are suppressed is an erroneous view. To meditate means to realize inwardly the imperturbability of the essence of mind. The reason why we are perturbed is because we allow ourselves to be carried away by the circumstances we are in. Those who are able to keep their mind unperturbed have attained inner peace. Thank you for watching.